In this video, we're going to discuss connecting Power BI to a MariaDB instance uh, in RDS in Amazon Web Services. So first off, we need to confirm that we actually have a MariaDB RDS instance created. We we'll want to get uh, credentials to the RDS instance. We we'll want to validate that we have an endpoint and also validate that we have proper access to the RDS. So in the Amazon Web Services uh, portal here, we can see that I have an instance of MariaDB running, just a small instance here. Really what we're after is we want to copy our endpoint. We want to see what port we're running on and if this instance is actually publicly accessible. Now, we can test that this instance has data in it and if I can connect to it from a SQL Workbench here. So, as you can see, I have a username and password and I can access my endpoint and actually retrieve data. So once we validated that, we can come over to Power BI and we can create a new connection. So, I'm going to use the more, I'm going to go to database, we're going to use actually the MySQL database connection here. Click connect. We could also use an ODBC connection if we wanted. We're going to paste our endpoint here, give it the database name. Power BI will make the connection. And then we can actually choose what tables we want to use. So you can see here, you can choose the customer table, load the data. Power BI will now execute a query against the RDS AWS instance of MariaDB. Once the data is loaded, we will see all of our fields available here. And now we can change and start using Power BI, including fields, as you can see there. Fairly simple. So, um, we're going to, when we're connecting Power BI to an RDS instance of MariaDB, first off, we're going to use a MySQL driver to connect to MariaDB. Uh, it works just fine. The new connection will be MySQL, or we do have the option to use an ODBC driver. You would have to download the MariaDB drivers, install them, and then you could use them through Power BI if you chose. If you're having trouble connecting Power BI to the RDS instance of MariaDB, usually we'll see it being one of these problems. It would be uh, potentially that the instance of MariaDB running is not public. There's a potential that your security group is blocking traffic to that uh, instance. Maybe you have a network ACL problem, so you might want to check that the ports are open and that there's no uh, IPs being blocked inside of those. Uh, lastly, you may just have a credential problem, so maybe you're unable to log in based on your username or password. And finally, you might, uh, if you're having still troubles, it might be due to the firewall on your end and you being unable to connect or a port issue on connecting to the AWS RDS instance.